Good day, I am Drake598Gaming and welcome to 7 Days to Die, a 105 day horde night. Uh, there will be some highlights from throughout the week as well. Uh, to all you awesome people out there, consider subscribing to the channel, it helps a lot. And if you do like the video, ch chuck a like or a comment, it really helps the channel grow. I do hope you all have a great day. Miss the first shot. Kill the nurse with the second. Blow her head off with the third. And take her down with the fourth. Doing a little bit of stone mining. Trying to get some iron. Just clear out some of the rocks along the road. As much as possible. Yeah, junk. Why will you not hit? Ah, uh, dug a hole. Oh well. There's a zombie. Bang! This is just a little bit of fast forwarded farming. Uh, for a little bit of context on where all the supplies and the wood comes from. But you, I tend to keep about a minute of this in most videos. So I came looking for a treasure chest dug a hole and there's no treasure chest although I did find a nice iron vein I think I did dig the hole so deep, I guess. Although I never found the treasure. I'm just gonna break the zombie's legs. Good. I saw one run past up top. There he comes. Oop. I dug myself into an awkward spot here. a little bit of ammunition if they get too close I'm willing to just Dropping out of the sky, man. And I'm missing. And then I fall. Oh, uh, bad spot. Come on, move it. Hit, hit, hit. Okay, I think we're clear. Nope. In this building which is the stadium, which most of you might recognise, is an airdrop that I do want to go get. I've just got to clean out all these guys on the way. Uh, I figure I'll get my archery skill up a bit higher. Ah, always miss that. Good follow up though. The 
the arrows really don't go to the crosshairs, they go to the bottom right hand corner of the crosshairs. When I play that many games I tend to forget these things. I have to pick it up each time I play again. Always keeps the games interesting though. Reload. Yeah, I managed to scream once. And making a drawbridge for my base, one of five. And a fast forwarded little montage of placing a hell of a lot of concrete. Cutting it very close. It's the start of Horde Night. I know I'm not far away from base. towards the front of the base. There's that bike. Just right about. Yep. Hopefully I have enough time to do this. Nope, I don't. Damn you dogs. Thank you. Now get me off these spikes before I die. Oh, I still really do wanna... Yep, I'm going for the risk. Make or break. Plenty of light. Now, go in here, just get rid of a few things quickly. So I'm in the middle of working on my base. Antibiotics. Damn, they're fast today. Need to pick these up too. How? Should be no way for you to hit me like that. close up these ow yeah give me the knife over that it's supposed to be coming from the front not the back
really this uneventful. They're just crashing into the back of the house, aren't they? Hey, I wanted the sledgehammer. Come on, trigger that I want you to attack from over this way. Alright, if I'm going to risk it like this, I should have a beer. Yep, there we go, they should be triggering from this way now. Come in. There we go. Looks like they're coming in the way they're supposed to. Sure. 
I'll have some pasta too. Yeah, I thought so. I would really like to get him before he... And of course on that one shot I need to reload. And he just blew up. That's okay, it's on the corner. One of the first police officers to actually blow up. It is looking very much like a very uneventful little horde night. Nothing really to worry about. Nothing really to fear. Oh, 
Okay. That. Oh, get me off that. Get me off that. And we made it into good. You are one of the last ones that I really want to go hand to hand with. There we go. Almost morning, and you guys are going to be out of luck. So we are at morning time. Which means clean up. Nothing there that I can see. And this is where the police officer blew up, I guess. Took out all these spikes. Minimal damage to the concrete, which is always nice. It'd basically, just be more of a spike placement for me. I will definitely be taking the pistol. And I think the easiest way is just to go bang, bang, bang. a fair few. Oh yeah, I think the spikes have done more damage to me tonight than the actual zombies. Uh, pane of glass, not important. Uh, use the vitamins, throw out the splint. A sandwich, useless. Empty. Grab the doorknob, get rid of the single feather. Uh, gun parts, gun parts. You know what, that over the two gunpowder for sure. It's not really that important. Although that was a piece of 300 clothing, it was only a face mask, which is pretty useless. What else can we get rid of here? We can scrub that. Yeah, that only just helped. But not really. You know what, we got plenty of food. Uh, we'll just keep eating all the food actually. Might be a better way about it. That way none of it goes to waste and we feast. That can be our reward. Uh, so far I think we've had a can of peaches. Uh, that helmet might be worth it. And those gun parts will be. Uh, get rid of that. Two plastic, one leather, not that important. Ah, uh, hell, maybe it's the five casino tokens. 
in there. Just sort of want to finish cleaning this all up. Ooh. That means there was another police officer on this side that I didn't see. Anything worth? Or just the standard sort of stuff. The shotgun's useful. Yep, parts that, I'm good. I'm not gonna even worry. It offers nothing of unique or real value. Oh, the police blowing up on the sides of the house it did it, uh, has done a number on my spikes, but otherwise, next to no real repairs on the concrete. Got to place some more spikes down, and yeah, probably ended up with more ammunition than we used and parts. Uh, but it was a bit of an odd horde night. They didn't really attack from anywhere special. Uh, so I've been Drake Five Nine Eight Gaming. I do hope you've all enjoyed this episode. If you did, feel free to chuck a like or a comment. It always helps. I hope you all have.